All right, what is going on everybody? So I am here testing out the Mustang solo tripper seat here and yeah so I'm gonna just preface this real quick and share a little moto vlogging woes here yeah a little bit of frustration uh, the first time around so I went ahead and I did the installation and uh, everything seemed to go good you know no issues or anything like that and then I came outside to film my initial reaction to the to the installing the Mustang seat on the Honda Rebel 500 here and had some audio troubles went out filmed the whole video it was getting really dark it got super foggy so the video actually turned out really well this is one of my more you know one of my first moto vlogs one of the for you know maybe first five or something like that and I was actually really happy with how the video turned out but what I found out later is after I get going all you can hear is and it sucked <laughs> uh, what ended up happening was I have no idea why but I used the Hero 9 Black and the Hero 9 Media Mod and for some weird reason the GoPro wasn't actually registering that the Media Mod was uh, connected and so it essentially didn't pick up any of my mic volume that was in my helmet or audio <laughs> volume and uh, it didn't pick any of my mic audio up uh, and it only picked up outside noise so anyway I'll probably post that video still because I, I did think it was a pretty cool looking video and I was pretty proud of just kind of how some of the things turned out but for now I'm gonna re do a little bit of refilming here and I, I guess give my second first initial re reaction to the the Mustang solo tripper seat here so I'll do a walk around with kind of how it looks so far you know I don't have a ton of uh, riding time on it probably 15 miles or something like that but so far it is feeling really great I am really enjoying this seat definitely think it was worth the upgrade the installation went well uh, wasn't too challenging honestly I'd say the installation was really easy I am by no means a mechanic and I was able to install it with pretty much no problems whatsoever so installation went great and in my opinion I do th I think the seat actually I actually think the seat looks better than what the stock seat looks like and it's kind of funny my wife came out and she said the exact same thing I know some people might not like the look it's a little bit extra padding a little bit a little bit bulkier if I'm being honest I actually think I like the look a little bit better and definitely the comfort for sure so I'm gonna try to do a little bit of longer riding today you know go kind of go on a little bit of a longer route and really just get a feel for it here because like I was talking about on the other <laughs> video which you, nobody can hear so I don't even remember what I talked about one of the things was the stock seat really wasn't that bad of a seat um, you know if I'm being honest the stock seat was actually a pretty solid seat for more short-term rides oh man I don't want to be behind this car we are gonna go right because I do not want to be behind this truck you know I've done plenty of riding where I do longer rides longer in a sense of like you know I've no, I haven't yet done anything that's like super long you know in excess of two hours or so but you know I've done a solid two two and a half hours of riding throughout the day you know so I'll go maybe go on a ride get something to eat go relax and then pop back around and, and get back on the bike and do some additional riding the stock seat will, would just really start to tire me out would get uncomfortable and you know once I got to the end of that you know hour and a half to two hour length of riding throughout the day I could feel it in my head I was like you know what I just I don't I want to be done for the day <laughs> Ooh, that's a cool army truck wonder if Weston Champlin lives there <laughs> Uh, anyway, I, I would do rides with my uh, bike and, and if I did anything longer than an hour and a half, I would just really feel the discomfort and the fatigue 
and I can already tell, you know, being on this seat for just a short period of time, that I think that that's going to be less. This seat's a lot more cushion, a lot more relaxed. I like kind of the riding position it puts you in. It actually kind of puts me in a little bit more of a up and forward riding position. All around, I think it's going to be a great addition to the bike. I think it's going to be a good experience. Again, I, uh, one of the number one things that they tell you when you take the MSF course and, and you know, things that I've heard from people online like Dan Dan the Fireman and, and other instructors or uh, people that are really knowledgeable is that comfort is very important when you're riding and it honestly if you think about it that's not necessarily rocket science man did somebody just leave their christmas tree on the side of the road comfort is is one of the most important things to have when you're riding you know you want to make sure that you're not getting super uh soaked when you're getting rained on so you want to have proper rain gear one of the things i learned earlier this year as the things got colder was that you want to make sure you have proper warmth gear because if you start getting very cold you know i had a, a instance where my hands got super cold while i was riding and i felt like i really couldn't move them past the <laughs> clenched in fist type position and so when you're riding you really just want to make sure that you're as comfortable as you possibly can because of that or because <laughs> i should say you want to make sure that you are mostly focused as focus as much as you possibly can be on the road so so far the seat it feels great it really i really am enjoying it you know i i feel like it's absorbing some of the uh bumps here a little bit more i'm gonna pull over here in a second kind of give everybody a look here i've said it a couple times but comfort is so important when you're riding and so if this if something like this can just provide a decent amount of comfort you know any additional comfort especially you know if you get in that situation where you've been riding for a while and you really just need to have as little strain or or distraction as possible you know i think this seat is definitely going to be able to help with that and help things be a little bit more comfortable here in, in my mind comfort's one of the more important things to have when you're riding on two wheels enjoying riding your bike i don't know i i have no complaints about this seat so far you know i, I guess something about me is, is i'm a pretty laid-back person so <laughs> unless something's very obviously or annoyingly uh bothering me or uncomfortable or frustrating or whatever i try to kind of just be chill and let things go that's my motto that does not always happen and so anyway i just but at this point i'm i'm super happy with this seat i think it's super comfortable if you are looking for a seat for your honda rebel and you know you're shopping around this one super easy to install which again i think most of them probably are pretty easy to install but yeah this one's super easy to install super comfortable i think adds a lot to the aesthetics of the bike and overall i think so far it's a great experience um the one weird thing i guess as i'm stopping here the one kind of strange thing that i've just noticed you know off the bat here is that i don't know if you can hear it but there's just a little bit of rubbing on the gas tank because i think this here just is a little bit larger than the stock seat and it kind of you know mounts up to there and so there's just been a little bit of rubbing that was kind of a strange noise that <laughs> uh, i've uh, been having to get used to but yeah overall this is just kind of uh, before I step in a pedal puddle here, this is what it looks like on the bike. Again, 2021 Honda Rebel 500 with the Mustang Solo Tripper seat, 84,000. I'm just, I'm really happy with it. You know, I think it looks pretty cool. It just adds to the curves. You know, I think before the stock seat was kind of would sit lower and wasn't as meaty in here, as thick. I just, I like the addition to the bike. I think it looks cool and most importantly i think it adds a tremendous amount of comfort and i think it's it's going to be something that i'll really appreciate having and enjoy for a long time as i continue to enjoy this bike good stuff anyways thank you for tuning in thank you for taking a quick look here at this uh initial thoughts and review of the Mustang Solo Tripper seat. Go ahead and leave a comment if you like what you saw. 
let me know how it's going. I do apologize that I, I was not able to include my initial thoughts and reaction. But in the spirit of transparency, you know, I'm learning here. I'm trying to figure all this stuff out. And I just, I screwed up. <laughs> so I hope y'all can forgive me for that. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see uh, more review and installation videos. You know, kind of what you thought of this one and how you'd like to see them in the future. I'm happy to try different things out. And I know I want to do a bunch of different things to this bike make it my own, try different things out, and, and try to give you guys my honest thoughts and reactions and, and everything. So leave a comment. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and like, comment, and if you have not yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe out there, mind your surroundings, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Deuces.